Namaste and welcome to class and thank you for sitting with us with your undivided attention and today we have Matthew Cosgrove uh, a shaman, a healer, a visionary with us a man who is interested now to share with you all the a medicine and a teachings that are so important right now in the evolution of man itself as a gender. So welcome Matthew to our class. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and you were sharing with me um, this morning that the, the importance of how the woman educate the man and how, how the power of the woman in relation to the baby, to the toddler, to the teenager, and to the man itself. All these relationships, if we have a clarity of what is it that we're dealing with and what is the position that we have, we have a, a great opportunity of growth. So can you tell us about... Um, well, well f yeah, first of all, it's, um, it's very timely, these teachings. Uh, about about the, the the male energy because we're 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 in a process of the, of uh, there's gender confusion and in the wake of wokeism and all these things that it's 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 becoming very confused especially for young people there's no model about uh, what it is to be a man it's very confused like men. Men are taught they have to apologize to be men. And we, we, I don't know uh, why if there's an agenda behind this whole movement and what it is exactly, but so I thought it would be timely to come out uh, with the teachings about the, th the three types of men. Uh, uh, where, where the it's, it's a saying, you know, what is the metal? What is, what is his metal? So, what type of metal can can the man be likened to? His character, and um, so there's there's today we're going to talk about the th the three types of metal. The, 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 the first of all is the copper man. Uh, copper uh, copper is a conductor and it, it has it's mainly used in uh, in electrical electric as a, an electrical conductor like all all the wiring in, in our houses is uh, is copper very very soft though it's very very soft it's very very pliable and I've worked with copper wiring, and you can't, you, you've got to be very careful. If you twist it too much, it just snaps. It's very soft, you know. And as, as a conductor, it's, it's very good. But w when it comes to the copper man, it, it, it conducts, but it has no sovereignty. It'll conduct whatever, whatever uh, is the predominant... Uh, current or or narrative like we have examples recently you know about the there's a certain narrative about wokeism for you know uh, the, the copper man is the, it's the one that's going to dye his hair purple because it doesn't know why it's just kind of you know and, and or, or the COVID narrative that was a big one so many people they just adapted the instructions that were in the narrative and they blindly parroted all all the talking points without without even uh, questioning you know you known a lot of people like that uh, so the, the the copper man has no sovereignty we'll, we'll just conduct whatever so you can't so in in our in our relationship then it will is 
if the woman, actually woman likes that, what I'm getting is that woman really get uh, attracted to that because it, it has a kind of softness, a kind of sympathy with you, it has, um, um, it follows your ideas, is is uh, yeah. moldable to yeah. to you to your lifestyle, yeah. but there is a price to pay. There's a on price life to, to pay. pay. That's yeah. the problem. Like yeah. it's, it's it's a very yin metal, really. Yeah, it's a conductor. It's it's, it's flexible, uh, but you can't depend on it. Right. Yeah. And it's and it's indirect. It's indecis indecisive. If if, if we want to look at, you know, the the stereotype new age man. Is a copper man, and he's not really able to manifest much. Super sensitive, too sensitive for the world, so they can't really make a living usually. So they they look for a woman. Right, it is it's a component. So if the woman is is uh, willing to take on that, then it would be more like a relationship of. Uh, uh, mother child where the woman always have to protect or give ideas but it comes at times then that the woman doesn't have a man right so it, it, it becomes uh, resenting and and the more the woman resent them the Cooper money becomes passive aggressive and manipulative and well yeah, yeah. And if, mm. if, if he doesn't get his way it's, it, there's a certain tantrum Mm -hmm. You know, like like a little boy. If the if the mother has not raised the boy properly, she submits to his tantrum, and that never. The, the boy grows up to be a man, but it's still a little boy that's gonna that's gonna do the tantrum to get his way. And women are adapted to that, you know, and and that's that is not an empowered man. The one that needs to do the tantrum to get his way, it, uh, and women resent that, and and I think you know a lot of the like the feminine feminist movement is a reaction against the big baby doing the tantrum. <laughs> and the and and the the when that I often say the woman have to test the man, and the test is about identifying the type of tantrum how the the power of the man get hidden by the tantrum. So once, if the man is able to overcome his own tantrum and you are the more important or the relationship is more important or the family is more important, then it's a, it's, it's a different caliber of man that is able to drop his tantrum and start relating, start um, coming out of the of his own self there so the woman the, the woman who submits to them to the the man's tantrum is agreeing with the tantrum she's agreeing with the man it, that the disempowered man and that's th you, thinking that well let's look at it it's just the male energy it's horrible this is male yeah, but that has nothing to do with male energy it's the tantrum you can have that in a woman or a man who don't who who who, who don't recognize who they really are. They, they have submitted to their ego, basically. So, And that's, that's what we often say, that that is the resolution relationships. When you are yeah. dealing with the tantrum of the other person, and you're dealing with your own tantrum too, so it's, it's and you, you, it, it, the, the relationship can start beautifully, and you feel okay, but after three and a three, three months and a half or a year, it, it start to to come out and not having the the sustainability, and then you start to relate into a different dimension. You start relating to to the tantrum rather than to the man. Yeah, and then as as we've said or the, I've written a book about it, you know, the resolution relationship. It's a uh, driven by the magnetism of the karmic imperative. You know, all just, it's hell, <laughs> really. You know, people living in their tantrums and reacting. Like, so the copper man is very reactive. You know, he'll, he doesn't get his way, he'll do a, 
a tantrum and you know and it, go, it, and, it, and it, go it, poke. You yeah, know. a retreat or 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 you say something that it should be done or something and it doesn't obey, you know, it, it becomes very passive aggressive, it, I would passive, say. It's passive aggressive. Yeah. And uh, so a lot of what what is what we're presented as 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 being male is the copper man. You know you see these you know, in, in advertising is you know the 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 models or so for, for clothes. It's the pouty little boy. You give me if I don't get what I want, I will do a tent. <laughs> I will go. I will, I will go pout, and uh, that's that's you know that's that, that's really what they're saying. Yeah. If you if you answer those the, the, those images, that's what they're saying. Yeah. yeah. And that's so that's male energy, and then of course women don't like that. The, the women decide well. They don't understand, but they decide they have to be somehow the empowered one. Yeah. Okay, so that, so we have the copper man. It's well, I, I want to, to add to the copper man the, the part of what is them, the position of a woman. Let's say you already have at home a copper man, and what it would be the best way to deal with that uh, kind of personality. So and, and my first suggestion is number one, be aware the type of man you have. And regarding of how the other person is, know that within you is reflecting the opposite. Mean that if you if your relationship is you have the copper man with wishy washy and so on, some that is teaching you that you need to be okay being assertive and to find your own power. So all the contracts we have with relationships is about growth, it's about how we can utilize the awareness to make our position a little bit more cohesive with what we are. Because remember, we're talking about man as an exterior thing, but we do have a male within ourselves. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Right? We have to know. We have to know know thyself. Yeah. Because the, the the woman has the same kind of different kind of ego, but the same. Yeah. She yeah. she she can be passive aggressive. She can she can have her tantrum. Yeah. Yeah. And the man, you see, that a copper man can't contain a woman. Mm -hmm. The woman has to because he's a baby, you know? And the woman w will resent it. That, and she won't necessarily under understand why, <laughs> you know? Because she, she has, her ego has full reign too then. And then it's, it's this reactive nightmare, <laughs> you know? So, and, and, and so how, how to not engage yeah, that's the, sec the second thing. When you have the awareness mm -hmm. that you have a Cooperman and you have a position in front of that, either resentment or that you are taking everything on, that you feel like a victim, then the, the second is not to engage in the tantrum, not to engage in that kind of dynamic you zoom out and say, okay, what is it I need to learn from this man? And what is it I need to reposition myself so I can have power but no control? Because with a Cooper man, the woman tend to control. It, 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 it has to control. Uh, it has to fill in the space. It has to yeah. fill the void. It has to fill up the, the void. So, you don't have to, <laughs> you really don't have to um, replace or, or um, uh, the word I'm using is, is looking for is, you don't, you don't need to compensate the lack of power of the man with overextending your, pow or your power. And I will say number three is um, not to baby the, the man, not to agree with his passive aggressiveness and that's something that in the woman 
sometimes because we, we want to avoid conflict in the family or in the relationship, we end up not saying anything. It's okay, I let it flow and so on. But really, I tell you, if you let it go a little bit, it, the weed will grow. So you need to diplomatically or directly or ferociously or any temperament that you choose, you need to confront. You need to say, no, I'm, I'm, you are doing this and I'm not accepting that. And if the man accepts that, he will appreciate it. He may not be happy in the beginning, but if he really is committed to the relationship, it will grow. It will grow. It will make that awareness that, yeah, I'm kind of a baby and I want my way and I want you to replace my power. And in that kind of couple, intimate conversations, things can, can move. But if you defend and say, oh, you're doing this, and, and I am tired of being this, and you, yeah, yeah, then, you, then, the blaming, then, then you, you know? you take positions, and then when you, have a, when you take a position, you have to defend the position, and it, and it just goes nowhere. So yeah. It's, it's, there's no point, you know? Yeah. It's so better just not engage and, and, and let the other do their tantrum. Mm -hmm. and if they don't want to... Um, Move, if they don't want to evolve, then move on. Move on, yeah, that's, Simple. that's something. They, a relationship will quick, I've seen it. When one, when one decides, no, we're not going to play, we're not going to engage, either the relationship evolves or it quickly ends. It quickly ends because, and he or she will go find somebody else to work it. Yeah. You know, and, and the important part is that to, to have the awareness and the clarity that is finishing because you're not accepting that contract. It's not because you are resented and you have a lot of blame and then obviously you are going to repeat the same yeah, pattern it, in another relationship. Because the contract is, is, is usually unspoken. You know, you're going to, you, as long as you, as, you, as you play by these rules, It'll work, but if you break the rules, which is true to the next one, we're going to get to the Iron Man. Yes, but well, uh, thank you so much for sitting with us, and stay tuned for our next episode about the Iron Man. Iron Man, that's the second. That's the second time. Metal. You know. Metal, yes. Thank you, Matthew, for sitting with us, and I'm looking forward to hear the Iron Man. Namaste.